So somebody had asked me about how these changes had affected the bandwidth of this meter. And you know, I really don't know. So I offered to rerun the test where we checked the 3 dB point for this meter. But it'd be kind of nice to compare it against a original one. Well, it just so happens that I actually had bought two of these things the last time I purchased them. So I was anticipating actually blowing up another meter and I just assumed well I better get another one just in case so this is brand new it's never been used yet and what we'll do is we'll hook this up and we'll compare the 3 dB point for these two meters against some of these others All right, you can see I'm outputting a sine wave right now and this is at 1 volt you can see on the left this is our modified meter the one on the right this is our virgin one We'll just set these to AC and you can see all five meters are basically reading one volt. What I'll do is I'll increase the frequency and we'll measure what the 3 dB point is for these meters. You can see in the upper left the Gaussian is displaying the frequency. It's currently at 50 Hertz. You can see the same thing in the Bryman. And this is about it. You can see the roll-off for these two meters is basically still identical. We're at uh, 3.06 kilohertz right now. Let's just go ahead and we'll take them up a little higher. You can see we're all the way up to 227 kilohertz right now and we've just hit the 3 dB point for the fluke. The Bryman's still hanging in here of course it can't read frequency anymore. If we change it over to the millivolt range you can see it's reading 227 kilohertz as well. Alright so again this is the modified meter on the left. I've got these connected to my RF generator. These two are currently in parallel. Now I'd expect that this is no longer going to be able to run up to about 200 megahertz like this one would. Let's just go ahead and increase the frequency. So right about 15 megahertz or so can see this meter can no longer read it however if I remove the connection to this meter and basically drive it direct so this is again coming straight off the RF generator there we go so 15.8 so there you go about 15.6 there's 17 let's go up another notch So that's about it. It looks like about 21 megahertz. And again, this meter on the right, I suspect, could probably run up close to about 200 megahertz. Let's just give it a crack. There you go, we're at 171, 180. And just tweak it down until it starts working. Right here. So roughly 190 megahertz. So this is what I would expect, somewhere close to 200. All right, so this is our modified meter. The scope is currently five volts per division. I've got my RF generator attached to an amplifier and I'm currently outputting 100 megahertz. What I'm gonna do is increase the amplitude and let's see where this thing starts working at. So this is 10 volts peak to peak. Right there. So it looks like about 20 volts peak to peak. Scope is reading about 20.1. <clears throat> so I now have the RF generator set for 150 megahertz. And again, let's go ahead and increase the amplitude. The scope is now set for 10 volts per division. 
So this is currently 20 volts peak to peak right now. That's over 40 volts peak to peak and you can see the meter still right there. It just picked it up. So about 46 volts peak to peak. So yeah, we've definitely hurt the sensitivity of the meter, but again, that's not too surprising. Essentially, we placed about 70 picofarads of capacitance right on the front end, and then we've added a 1k ohm resistor. So I can believe that we've really hurt the frequency response of this meter. It's possible that we could add some capacitors in there to try to compensate for some of this. I don't know if it would be worth the effort again. You know, typically I'm not using a handheld meter to read frequency in the first place. Certainly not into the megahertz like this. You know, with a little connector like what we have here. I'm going to use a real frequency counter. Doesn't look like we've really hurt the AC response of the meter as far as reading voltage. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Till the next test. Later on.